the story all the <laughs> really, really wanna... You've gone far beyond the I've had so much fun filming this look you guys will see just like how how nostalgic I get throughout this video being a 90s baby but yes today's makeup tutorial is a tutorial on 90s makeup um, I have started a new series here on my channel which I am incredibly excited about it is makeup from the errors and I feel like if, if this how I feel right now is how I'm gonna feel throughout filming these makeup tutorials we're in for a very good run of tutorials and I thought why not start off with the most iconic nostalgic era for myself but the 90s I'm a 90s baby I was born on the 23rd of December 1990 growing up as a Kiwi kid in the 90s was so epic um, so I just thought I would start off my makeup series with of course an era I know very very well which is the 90s um, but of course, let's just revisit some epic things that came from the 90s. It goes without saying the 90s were definitely an iconic era. How can we forget about things like butterfly hair clips, crush balls, hat and clips. Now, if you think about it, that is like the original iPod. Goosebump box, the Macarena, collecting beanie babies, furbies. Now, those fuckers scare the shit out of me. Polly Pocket, Tommy Got Cheese. For myself, personally, growing up in the 90s, pop music was very, very like influential. So, of course, I was obsessed with people like Britney Spears, and seeing five Christina Aguilera. I just thought you were so swirled with epic cartoons. You had the Rugrats, Fresh Prince Valia, Pokemon, Full House, and the Olsen Twins, and of course Friends. We also had some amazing movies such as 10 Things I Hate About You. Still one of my favorite movies of all time. Clueless, The Titanic, Home Alone Movies, and Mrs. Doubtfire. And then we had some very nostalgic beauty trends that came from the 90s as well. Such as crimped hair, frosted hair tips, overplucking your eyebrows. Overplucking your eyebrows so much that they almost don't grow back. I went with a little bit more of the typical kind of 90s look. I do want it to be still super wearable at the same time, so I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. This was quite an iconic look. Um, people would, and well, this is what I used to do as well, um, it was either this hairstyle or you would have it tucked back very softly with little pieces of hair. We used to call them slut wings at school. So excited. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, to prime, I'm gonna be using Rude. I've never heard of this company brand. It just turned up in my little box. <laughs> it's a shimmering primer. So we'll give that a go because I want a bit of a luminous base underneath my foundation. Oh god, that's so much darker than my face. Okay, no, we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> Okay, so for my foundation, I thought it would only be fitting to use a brand that um, was like my first ever foundation. So I remember the first ever foundation I purchased was Maybelline Fit Me. I bought it in the supermarket, I had no idea what the colour was, it was far too dark. Now that I think about it, my sister and I would share the same foundation and she was way darker than me. I'm going to be using Maybelline's Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the colour Nude Beige. Um, I just don't think... Dewy was even an option in the 90s. Everything was so dead matte. Okay, this is still a little bit too dark for me. God, I'm so pale at the moment. It's so frustrating. I was meant to tan this morning, but you know what it's like. You think it's a good idea, and then you get halfway through, and you're like, God damn, this is such an effort. <laughs> I was finding it so difficult for so long to decide which era to start off with and then it just dawned upon me like how stupid am I to not do the 90s it's so iconic like legit it was the best decade ever especially growing up like oh my god I was such a Britney fanatic my cousins and I were just so in love with it I think I was about eight when Britney was just like so so huge um and we would do like really fun like choreography and like do dancing to her hit me baby one more time no what was that other one where she's like in the red suit oops i did it again whoa yeah yeah, yeah sorry and we go like oh baby to know that I still remember a lot of that choreography. <laughs> Brittany was queen when I was like eight. <laughs> I'm to do a light concealer underneath my eyes. I have been using Collections Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I'm not too sure if the 90s were the times where people would do far too light of a concealer or if they just like use too much translucent powder. But I have a feeling they weren't even that 
advance with baking and all that sort of stuff so I have a feeling um, it was more just where like concealer was far too light compared to the uh, foundation and so people would have like wicked like basically just like this they'd be taking a photo and they'd be like so to see everything into place I'm going to be using the Veil Translucent Powder by Hourglass it is to dye for this stuff it is so amazing it's one of my favourites so I'm just going to Matt, the AF out of my face. I feel like the 90s were really good at that. I was one of those girls who didn't overpluck my brows, thank f because I know so many people who did and their brows never grew back. And majority of them look like tadpoles, you know, where they're like more of like rounded at the front and then they curve up and then they have a bit of a tail. So anyways, um, I'm going to figure out what type of brow I'm going to do. Um, obviously a skinny one would be great. I'm going to do the... I'm gonna do the Jennifer Aniston brow. I'm like looking at it from when she was on Friends. And it's like a solid brow, like solid thin brow. My fire, the one. So I just used the BHHD brow pencil on my brows to create those. Epic looking brows. They could be a lot thinner, um, but I'm just kind of going with my natural brow. Have gone like one or two shades darker as well, which I kind of like. Can we just talk about how this could not be more nostalgic? Like, what the F? Um, Mac recently bought out Jeremy Scott's collaboration and it's called Cheeky Volume 1 at Mixtape. You know, in the 90s, you, we were kind of going from like cassette tapes to um, Walkmans and CD players, so you make up like your own remix um, CD, so this is so cool. Um, you've got a blush, bronzer, and a highlighter, so we're gonna use that today. Right, let's warm up these cheeks ever so slightly. It's almost like they either used way too much blush, just looking at these images, or nothing at all, so it's kind of like, I'm so conflicted. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna quickly spritz this. I'm gonna be using the Top Secret Makeup Setting Spray by YSL. This is a setting spray, but also a hydrating spray. I'm just feeling really, really mad right now. I really wanna use highlighter. I do really know highlighter probably wasn't a thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my brows. I feel like they definitely still went pretty ham when it came to brow highlighting. Whoa, <laughs> that is excessive. Yeah, yeah, it's excessive, but I feel like it, it, it feels right. So I'm going to be working from the Urban Decay Trouble Maker Palette. I thought this one would be really good. And I'm going to be using this color here, which is 7 and 7, which is a really nice warm matte brown. And this is just going to be going into my socket and just going to be like the main base of this eyeshadow look. Because they didn't do a heap of eyeshadow work, as you can imagine, like makeup has advanced so much, even in like the last three years. Like it's, it, it was something that people like to do but it wasn't like such a priority like it is today. I'm pretty sure it was 1998 when I bought my first ever CD and it was Bewitch and then my second CD I ever bought was NSYNC and Five. I had such big crushes on Scott from Five and who was it from NSYNC? Um, I think it was Lance. I'm pretty sure it was Lance. When I was at primary school and someone would have a um, birthday, we'd all go around to their house and then after cake we'd all dress up and be our favourite Spice Girl and there'd always be like a fight because someone either wanted to be Baby Spice, no one ever wanted to be Scary Spice or, or Ginger Spice. I was also a child victim of the dress your kid up in the same outfit as your other siblings like blur and tracksuits and stuff like that. That happened a lot in my life. I will never forgive my mother. Some nostalgic TV shows were, of course, um, if you're from New Zealand, you would have watched Susie Cato at 3.30 every evening. If you're from the 90s, what was your favorite TV show? I'm gonna be using Knockout. So this is a slightly more cool toned brown. I'm just gonna put this onto my lids. So as you can see, I'm buffing that into that seven and seven color from earlier on. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeliner, so I'm going to run it along the, the top of my lash line and my waterline. So I'm going to be using this one from MAC. This is just a graphic black one. I'm pretty sure this is waterproof, so this is going to be fun to get off. They really seem to, back in, um, back in the 90s, they really like to almost encase their eye with liner. And then I'm going to put it in the waterline. 
Oh god, I haven't done this. Unless it's for a smoky eye, I've never really worn it like this. And they would always have just a really small kind of line in the waterline. They wouldn't really blend it out. Right, let's chuck a couple of coats of mascara on these lashes. I don't know if I'm going to use falsies. I just, like I said, I just want to keep this really quite authentic to how it actually was back then. I never thought I was really going to wear this for anything else but a look like this. So this is the Balmain collaboration with L'Oreal. So this lipstick is called Glamour Zone and I totally am vibing with this. So I'm going to overdraw my lips the tiniest bit. I'm going to be using Whirl by MAC to do so. my 1990s inspired makeup tutorial. I've had so much fun doing this as you guys would have been able to tell. It is just such a cool era. I just remember just being so happy as a child growing up in the 90s and all the amazing music and the cool trends. They were cool at the time anyways. It's surprising how like you know trends do go in circles and how little things from the 90s are starting to creep back in. If you're a 90s baby, let me know down in the comment section what the most iconic nostalgic things from the 90s were for you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. All the products will be down in the description box for you guys to go check out. Um, yeah, of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to be a part of my channel and thank you so so much for watching. Anyways guys, have a lovely day and I will see you very very soon. Bye!